Hey everyone, I have another horror flick pick this week. This week I chose 28 Days Later. This was released in 2002, so about 12 years ago. And it um, was directed by Danny Boyle. He's known for Train Spotting and Slubdung Millionaire and big movies like that. But this is his first real horror movie that he's done, at least that I know of. Um, and it's basically, it centers around... Um, this group of people living in London, um, living as this uh, virus overtakes the world, and it's called the Rage Virus, and when people are infected by it, they become raging, you know, homicidal maniacs, essentially, and uh, so these, this group of people try to make their way through the city and through the countryside and try to survive. Um, <clears throat> now, a lot of people consider this or they classify this with zombie movies. Um, I guess that is the closest uh, subgenre that this comes to. Um, but it is a lot, a lot unlike zombie movies in many ways because you know in zombie movies, um, those who are zombies they're dead. So and in this movie it's living people but they're infected by this virus. So it's more or less how they're. Um, affected by this virus in the psychological sense. Um, so this group of people, they make their way through this town, trying to avoid all of the infected, and when they felt that um, the infected were the only people they had to fear, they get to the end, it's near the end of the movie, and they find something else that they have to fear. Um, so it's a great twist at the end of the movie. But... Really very well done movie. Um, this is probably one of my favorite horror movies from um, the 21st century since the year 2000. Uh, it's gory, has everything uh, any horror lover would love. Scary, um, very tense moments. Just really, really well done. Very well acted. And this did have a sequel. Um, look at the back here. This edition that I have, it's got... Three alternate endings worth checking out, a lot of commentaries, um, decent special features. Um, but as I was saying, it did have a sequel 28 weeks later, which I also thought was very good. Not as good as this one, but still very effective. And I've been wondering if there's ever going to be a third one, maybe the, to turn it into a trilogy. So I'm not sure about that, but if you have not checked this out, definitely check it out. So that is my video for this week. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.